this glass took me uh, a year of work and three PhDs, uh, two in sensory science and one in materials engineering. And the idea was very simple. It comes from wine. Everybody knows that uh, if you have a really great wine, you're not going to just drink it out of the bottle or pour it into a juice glass. You're going to put a great wine into the proper glass that enhances the flavor. And of course, if it's true for wine, it's true for beer. The, uh, the glass does affect the taste of the beer. So I set out to develop the perfect glass for Samuel Adams Boston Lager in particular and in general for uh, rich, flavorful beers. And uh, the result of a year of work and a lot of serious drinking uh, is this, this Samuel Adams glass. And it has a number of, of features that uh, en enhance the, the flavor of a really good beer. And it's kind of starting from the top. There's an internal bead uh, at the top. We call that the turbulator because uh, the turbulator creates turbulence as the beer enters your mouth and that turbulence pushes flavor out of the beer uh, just as the beer enters your mouth. The lip is turned outward because uh, for a flavorful beer you want to be able to taste the malt body. And that outward lip puts the beer on the front of your tongue where the sweet taste buds are concentrated. And then the bowl of the beer is actually the same size and shape as a sommelier's glass because uh, this size and shape is the best one to capture and concentrate aromas. As we, we smelled earlier, you just get a better aroma out of this glass than that glass. Uh, and then um, it's meant to be held like this rather than, you know, you don't hold it like that, you hold it like this, you put less heat into the beer so the beer will stay colder longer. And then we take a laser and we etch into the bottom of the glass uh, nucleation sites that will create bubbles. Uh, that release flavor out of the beer all the way to the bottom of the glass.